All right, so this might be the first time I've ever thinking about my viewers. All right, so I know there are some global players that don't know anything about the JP side, but they still like watch the video anyways. So just in case. All right, so this unit this week that's come that just came out might be a potential spoiler for season two of the story. And you didn't know this. Season 2 just ended here on JP side. So yeah, so this unit could be a potential spoiler. I don't think he's that much of, of a spoiler, but hey, you don't want to see what the unit is, then uh, leave now. Alright, and I'm gonna go and continue this summon video. Preparing the King Rain. I mean, I think it's like CG King Outdoor Rain or something, but it doesn't matter. I just call it King Rain. And do we really have to say CG every time? And for uh for a CG unit, but yes. All right. So just like Dark Fina was last month, CG Rain is also. I mean, uh, King Rain is also a limited time unit for the Summon Fest. Apparently, uh, Dark Fina Sherby is in the pool too during this summit fest. Although the chances of getting her is like slim, very slim. But yeah, it's like, is King Rain really a spoiler? I mean, I suppose there might be those who do do not want to know about King Rain. I guess I can't really blame them for that. I mean, when I was playing uh, uh, the story mode, or well, when I was uh, when I, let's see, so I when King Rain was uh, was out in the story, I wasn't playing yet. So when I saw it on the forums on the Reddit about King Rain, I was like, what? But I didn't know. Wait, was it the Reddit? Or I think it was like a screenshot of what's coming out next in the story. I saw them in their uh, king outfits. I was like, what the hell's that? <laughs> what? <laughs> is this is victory anime? Wait, doesn't that look like a kind of mind control helmet? You gotta put down your head. All right, well, we got one down. But yeah, so I was slacking off on the sto uh, story story bit on the JP side because uh, apparently the story wasn't over yet, so I, I was just slacking off on finishing it. And when I saw King Ring in last one, I was really surprised, like the first time I saw them. It's another one! It's an like Aaron! I fully have a Simmons Star Aaron! Alright, well that's that's three King Reigns. This is awesome. Just need to get another one. Like this summit fest is actually pretty awesome. I got four CG Fias and I already had three King Reigns. What was that? Oh my god! Is this all four? Dude, like, e okay, okay, even if this is a limited time unit, it's still really, like, this banner, like, these raids are pretty awesome. You ask me. Holy shit. I was not expecting that. Is it gonna be, like, five or something? No. Okay. Oh, that's fine with me. I got four. Four king raids. Holy shit. I don't know what that is. All right, and that's it. Wow. Oh yeah, and before I forget, which I totally did, let's check out the enemy. I'm like, how did I do that again? <laughs> Alright, right. it's, it's gotta be one of these. 
There we go. Alright. The dash is standby. As uh, I'm about to attack. His attack. Alright, uh, about to cast magic. Cast the magic. And that's his limit burst. Yeah, let's see. I don't I don't know the voice actor's name, but I'm pretty sure it's the guy who voices Bakugo in uh Hero Cad Academy. And that's his victory pose. He summons his chair. Which is weird because like alright, I didn't know this about a seven star form. Alright, this is about to die. Dead. Okay. I didn't know that about seven star for I didn't know he actually had the freaking chair behind him. So yeah, it is pretty ridiculous really. <laughs> like he carries this chair behind him this whole time. Guys, Laswell, King Laswell gonna be the same thing. Alright, and that's uh that's my gear right now. Anyways, yeah, I mean I could go for the Super TMR, but the uh, Super TMR is not Totally necessary. But hey, I mean, it's pretty much the best time during the seventh best to, you know, uh, try to get four King Rings or just like Dark Fina, but yeah. Just like before, because, okay, so we get Rainbow if I got this right from Reddit. The chances again, the uh, banner unit is 50%. Like, you have a 50% chance of that Rainbow being the banner unit. So yeah, so it's pretty much the best time to summon for these, uh... Just, yeah, the best time to summon if you want the Super TMR. But like I said, Rings isn't that, that spectacular, really. Uh, hopefully CG last world uh, is better, which we already know it's gonna be... Okay, so Rain has this Crimson Saber. It's, I don't know what it's called, but very much it's this true Crimson Saber. This is... Because we already have this Crimson Saber and it freaking sucks, so of course they had to make a better version eventually. And anyway, so of course the last one is going to be his Purple Lightning. Uh, Purple Lightning Katana, and he's most likely going to be a dual wheel unit, which... Okay, it doesn't really make sense if you think about it. Because last one is a dual wheel unit, but he gave Rain's sword back to him. So, he shouldn't be a dual wheel unit anymore like back in Season 1. He should be back... To a season one form, right? Where he was pretty much a true double hair. Whatever. Anyways, uh, well, another week. Don't click the wrong things. Okay. Oh, here it is. I don't know why I didn't know it. Okay. So thanks to me, forget the show, show the animations, and now I had to edit the video, and it took me a week after like, um. Uh, doing the summon. All right, I got to see what the next event is. Yeah. All right. So the next raid event, which we knew. Okay. So the raid event is gonna be this week, Wednesday. And I don't think they're gonna come out with the next CG character next week, right? It's not exactly the start of the next month. Yet. So I think there's gonna be like nothing next week, and then there should be the CG character, right? I think that's how it should be. But I guess we'll wait and see. But anyways, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Noctis. Uh... I mean, let's see... I think some were expecting that the raid event would be like related to Final Fantasy XV and it'd be like Arden, but... I, I'm pretty sure, just like Garland was a free unit. And he's the main villain for Final Fantasy one. I think Arden is going to be a free unit for the Mog event. I think I already mentioned that, but I forgot. <laughs> anyways, so... Anyways, for the raid event, it's going to be uh, just a FFB original. Okay, so we're just going to have FFB original characters. Not going to be any of the previous Final Fantasies. Like any of the main Final Fantasy series. Anyway, so uh, apparently it's... 
I don't know what it's called. I don't know, the Omega weapon. The Mecha Bahamut. I don't know. Maybe it is an Omega weapon. It kind of reminds me of very much, yeah, Omega weapon from 5S8. Or was it? What was it? I know, I know there's Omega weapon, but it was pretty much a reskin of Ultima weapon. What, was it Ultima weapon? I forgot. But yeah. Yeah, Omega was just a white version of uh, Ultima weapon. But yeah, it pretty much reminds me of him with the four legs and all that, but then he had a, a mouth. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so this is the next raid unit. These are the items for crafting. And yeah, of course. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Alright, let's go look at the units! And the units! Uh, it's gonna be... Fina... And Dark Fina, so I was like, wow! So you did get Dark Fina! Learn the Tournament Fest, well, there's another version of Fe Dark Fina with regular Fina! I don't know if she'd be as powerful, because that'd be kind of crazy! I, want, I feel like the power creep has been going up recently. Like, a lot faster than it was. Well, I don't really care though. <laughs> I want to die. I don't really care if the power creep keeps going up really. Like if it makes these damn trials easier, then I don't mind. Like, I've been trying to complete these trials. I've been working my damn hardest. Okay. Anyways, so next is Dark Fina Fina. It seems like she's a healer and she has some um, yeah, um magic DPS. So who knows how that's gonna turn out. I mean, pretty much it just sounds like Fina the way she is right now. And her her mage side never really kicked off. Anyways, but we, we'll see. And then it's uh, Lid and Shake. Because, you know, no one likes CG Shake, so might as well combine him with someone else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, uh, he should be a breaker. They should be, I mean. Uh, they should be a breaker. Uh, who knows if they're gonna be... I mean, okay, they're probably gonna be very good, but hey, I think I'm gonna stick with my CG uh, Lid and Fina instead. That combo. <laughs> but yeah. And Rorin. Was that his name? I forgot to pronounce it. Uh, I think you know him. He's gonna be a four-star unit. Uh, Last Wells Father. Yeah, he's just a four-star unit, apparently. Huh. Kind of disappointing, considering, uh, you know... He was able to, he's pretty much rival to Reagan, who's a freaking 5 star unit, but sure, why not? He's a 4 star. Anyways, I'm excited for uh, CG Finas, because I can always have, I can't have enough CG Finas in my life. Actually, I don't know if they're CG, but most likely they, they, they will be. I mean, why wouldn't they be? Anyways, I'm excited. I don't know if I will summon though, as you see my lap is slow, so I might just you'll see them. Because apparently they're not limited to time, which is actually fantastic! It's great that they're not limited to time. You know. There's some more details. I'm not going to go into full detail into that. And that's a step up banner. Because, yeah. Anyways, so you don't have the details for yourself. Go to the Reddit. Anyways. Um, yeah, I probably just, you'll see them. I have 40 tickets. So I'm going to use two of them for CG, Fina, and Dark Fina. We don't really know. Double Finas? I mean, there's gotta be a better way to say, uh, you know, name this unit. Anyways, I'm just gonna UOC it. Uh, you don't know, I've been saving my UOC tickets for the time my favorite Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy comes out, and that's 8. Until Squall comes out, CG Squall, I'm going to use two of them to get him and use the Super Timar on him for Super Timar. I don't care if it's not good, I'm gonna use it anyways. Because he's my favorite. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah. But I've been thinking recently. Okay, so I have 50. I just used one for Eileen. So I could get her Super TMR. And I... Uh, I didn't realize how close I was to Rem. I could use... I only need one more Rem. I could get her Super TMR. And right now I have an expedition going on. I've been trying... I've been working on... What? This unit? Yeah, this unit on expedition. Ah, to get, cause uh, to get her TMR. Her TMR is a forty attack, uh, forty match attack and forty percent, um, yeah, forty percent magic, yeah, uh, passive. And well, 
But I'm like, I'm par with Rem Super TMR. That that doesn't have all the other stats, like spirit stats and all that. But yeah. It's just, but really, I just want the magic, really. The additional magic attack is, is really useful. I mean, I'm working on hers. So I guess just wait till hers is done and then give it to Dark Fina. But, you know, I was thinking, it's like, do I really? Maybe I should just get one more rem and get that super TMR. Hmm. And then maybe I should just pull for CG Fina or uh, Fina and Dark Fina. And just get one of them. Or maybe I could use tickets. Yes, I could use tickets first and see how that goes. But anyways, point is, yeah, maybe I could just use two ULC tickets. Or maybe I just need to use one or try to save it now. So that I can just get Rev Super TMR instead. Alright. But yeah, that's the plan for the future. Alright, anyways, that's enough for this video. Uh, yeah, sorry it took a while, but it's... It's fine, I guess. I think it was worth it. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully the next one is uploaded soon.